All right, today we're going to build this. A cheap solar panel mount made out of an old satellite TV dish. So uh, stick with me and uh, I'll show you how I did it. All right. Hello, YouTube. I got another little project here today. Got me a little solar panel. An old satellite mount. It's got the adjustment for the up and down, left and right. Uh, took the old satellite off. Found these, uh, got these off of it. They kind of suck off the dish to hold the, I don't know, the receiver or something. What I'm thinking I can do, lay it out on there, something like that. Bolt this piece through here and two screws on this side into the panel. And the other piece, two bolts going through the mount two screws going in and the way this is stacked up it just barely meets the original bolt holes of the dish so that's what I'm going to try to do try to get this thing mounted put up I got some batteries down there and, a, and my water pump all hooked up I was able to run my house off that water pump uh, shower and the kitchen sink at the same time holding about 30 pounds of pressure so I'm going to get all this stuff ready to go that way if we ever do need it hopefully we don't but one day to be ready to go. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're over at the drill press, and on this end of the tube, I don't know if you can see it. It's got these two nut inserts. Push my solar panel from this edge to here, about right there. So I'm gonna make those where they stick out the side. If I ever need to mount anything up there with it for whatever reason. So I got me some marks right here, about two inches in from the edge of the panels. I'm gonna drill a. Uh, and start off with a uh, 9 30 seconds drill bit all the way through it. Then on one side, I'm going to do a half inch hole on both of them. That way, I can get my socket and nut down in there and bolt it to the panel. I'm gonna, let me adjust this uh, speed on this thing and I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. Got the 9 30 seconds drill bit in. Got the cutting loom. Y'all are wondering what this is for is whenever I was making the uh, little gas fire stove, which I'm probably going to do a video on. I was laying the cans in here, that way I can just drill, rotate, drill, rotate, drill, rotate. Keep the holes kind of lined up a little better. Alright, let's get her going. Let's see. Perfect. It's got a 
me swap out to the half inch bit and uh, we'll go ahead and get our, I guess you call them access holes ready. Be right back. All right, we're all swapped out. I want the nut search on the outside, so I'm gonna put the access hole here. Let's get going. Let's try with a smaller bit. Uh, let's go 25, 60 quarts. Do nothing major, so there's no point in really tightening that chuck up. It's time to replace that bit. All right, well, I got one more to do, and when I get done, we'll meet back over there. Well, just as luck would have it, here's the nut, there's the hole. Don't fit, and I ain't got the right size drill bit. Just gonna have to pull out the grinder and do some massage therapy to it. I'll be back. Well, there it is. I sure hate to do stuff like this. It looks tacky to me. But I guess if you ain't got another choice, that's what it's gotta end up being. All right, well, I'm gonna get this bolted together. Won't make you watch that. I'll be right back. Well, before I get too in depth, I wanna show you this. This solar panel has a track here on the bottom and the side. So what I did is I took my bolt, shoved it through there, put the nut on it. And inside this track, the head of the bolt will go down in there. You can just tighten it up. Right there, just like that. One on each side. I'm going to show you all that before I got too far along. Line it up. Tighten it down. All right, we'll be back. Well, there it is. Solar panels mounted on the mount. These old satellite dishes, man. You get them from pretty much free. And they're pretty much ideal for uh, small solar panels. Got my angles right here. Now here's, here's one thing to mention. This angle plate is gonna be off because it still has this adapter. And uh, the way the satellites work, it would actually lean the dish down a little bit further so the signal would like come bounce in and hit just right. So that's not the true angle of this plate right here or the solar panel. So keep that in mind. I left, I left this mount on here because it, it fits on here pretty good and didn't really have to do a whole lot of work to make it 
happen. But if you just take this little angle plate off and bolt it straight to this, then that your angle gauge will work just fine. But I think it'll be okay. So we got our up, up elevation, loosen up here, and adjust your, uh, what is that called, the azimuth? Where it's left and right? Yeah, and the skew is the side to side, which we'll, we'll set that back to straight 90 degrees. But it was free. Only cost me a little bit of time. Got some overhang with some nut certs if I ever need to bolt something to the side of that. And I think somewhere on there has a, a place to ground it. Most satellite dishes do. But yeah. Check it out if you want if you need something like this, man. It's the way to go. Alright. Um, I would mount it today, but it just started raining. So um, I think that's gonna be it for right now. Uh, please rate, comment, subscribe, share the video if you could. I'm trying to get into this YouTube thing. I think got a lot of pro projects people would like to see. And until next time, see you later.